Hey everyone, my name is Katie Robertson. I'm the founder and director for The Anchor Gathering, and this is The Anchor Moment, and I want to tell you a little bit about what that is. It's a time we get to hear from a guest a little bit about their life, their faith journey, and an anchor moment. And that is a time that someone has had their faith grounded and they've seen Jesus for real in their lives. So we are so excited at this time you get to hear firsthand a personal story from one of our guests and we hope that you'll be encouraged. Well, Lisa, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Lisa Odegaard. I have a Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and I'm a proud alumni of the Culinary Institute of America. I am married to Brian and I have two wonderful kids, 12 and eight, so Stellan, 12, Gunner, eight. Tell us a little bit about your faith journey. Uh, I grew up in a Christian home, and but it was very tumultuous. Jesus ended up being my safe space. So reading the Bible, being at church, that was where I needed to be. My faith has been tested a lot, but not quite until I had children. Uh, my eight-year-old Gunner, when he was one and a half, he burned his hands really badly. So that needed to be surgically um, fixed at Harborview. He loves to play Xbox, but he can only play it uh, jumping up and down. He doesn't sit like other kids. He fell and smashed his face into our bookshelf, broke part of it, and had to have th four teeth surgically removed at Children's Hospital. He uh, twisted his ankle at his cousin's house. Three weeks later, he got an egg on his head. So my anchor moment recently was with Gunner. Um, he had really bad ear infections and just in his right ear. The ENT looked at him and said, hey, he's got an extra flap of skin in there. It'll be an in and out surgery, it'll be fine. So four plus hours later, oh gosh. Uh, excuse me, just under four hours, he came out like his head totally wrapped up. He was asleep when I saw him and the doctor told me that he had a mass inside of his ear. And unfortunately it had um, eroded all of his hearing bones. He started screaming once he woke up because he was in pain since they had to drill into his mastoid bone to make sure that he did not have any of that growth inside. Praise Jesus, he did not. So I was just leaning into Jesus and just praying over him because it was extremely difficult. But there was one night during recovery, we had prayed, we had read the Bible, we had read all of his like favorite books. And he just looked at me and he's like, Mommy, I just love that you're taking care of me. And I love that you love me so well. And I was like, I love you. <laughs> and he's like, can you hold my hand? And I said, oh, yes, I would love to do that. And he just held my hand and kept holding, holding my hand until he went to sleep. And I just think that that is like the best way to end that day because it was a really rough day but he's doing well. Just tested my faith. I was so angry when I found out that it first happened. Asking God, like, what is going on? This kid has been through so much. Everything is good. We've been praying a lot and he's healthy and happy and that's what I really care about. So awesome. Thank you very much for sharing your anchor moment with us. Thank you for letting me.